Hey y'all, it's Melissa from Welcome to the Woods. Today we're going to take a popcorn tin and transform it into an adorable cement dipped look planter. Now, you guys know I love Rust-Oleum. Well, they came out with this new Imagine spray paint and we're gonna use this in various effects to change the look of this popcorn tin completely. This is the linen colored chalk spray paint and I'm using multiple light coats and large strokes in order to get this popcorn tin covered evenly without any drips. Rust-Oleum is sponsoring this video so I get to show you a bunch of their new products that I'm excited to try. I trust their brand over all else because of how comfortable their spray nozzle is and how even the coverage comes out right out of the can. I love how this finish has such a matte appearance just like chalk paint and it feels like really good to the touch. I'm also spray painting the lid of the popcorn tin because this is going to be used for a clever purpose when I'm all done. Now once I sprayed the popcorn tin multiple times and it was totally opaque white, I let it dry for a few days. The weather wasn't cooperating anyway at this point um, because it wasn't above 50 for me to spray paint the next part, but I would say if you're trying to do this project consecutive days, allow the paint to dry at least a full 24 hours and then use um, like delicate surface tape for the next step. So I'm using frog tape to tape off the area that I don't want full of the stone effect spray paint. And on this popcorn tin, the majority of it will be the stone effects and then just the top rim and the lid will be the opaque chalk paint white. I cover the top with a plastic bag to protect the inside from getting overspray. And I did this because I didn't want the bottom to get overspray either. So I'll be spraying it just sitting up just like this. I'm going to be spraying another planter as well. I got this black planter that is so cute and modern from Michaels. And I'm going to be doing a detail on the bottom with a different color of the Rust-Oleum Stone Effects spray paint. So if you're interested to watch my projects in real time, then don't forget to go follow my Instagram, which is in the description on this video. My handle is at Welcome to the Woods blog, and you can see behind the scenes as I'm working on things and follow along. My Instagram audience also gets to vote on finishes, so they help me decide which colors of the stone effect spray paints to put on each of these planters. Now, the Rust-Oleum Imagine spray paints have tons of choices when it comes to the stone effects, and I'm going to be working with the medium colored gray and then the lighter colored pebble, but they have granite and they have like light wash and they have all kinds of choices. So first, let's work on the gray and we're going to spray paint the black planter so that the bottom looks cement dipped, and I think this color looks the most like cement. I put the black planter up on a block like this, you can see, just so that I can access it a bit better. Um, and this worked very well to also prevent the spray paint from sticking to your newspaper or cardboard, whatever you have, protecting the floor. Be sure to shake these super, super well. The finish is textured and so it doesn't come out well unless you're shaking the can consi consistently for a minute before you start, as well as throughout the spraying process. One thing to note about this spray paint is that it has a large overspray area, more than normal colored spray paint. So I added more drop cloths as I got started on these planters because my overspray was causing some problems. Just be sure that you're using these spray paints in an area where you can control overspray for about three feet around what you're doing. So now I'm going to be using Pebble on the popcorn tin because I love this light color. Again, it's super important to apply light strokes because if you get too much in one area, then this textured spray paint can really cause a buildup. So after it dried for a couple hours, I removed the tape. This is at the point where like the paint isn't fully dry, so I'm being careful not to touch it. But you're going to want the stone effects to dry at least 24 hours. This stuff dries a little slower than spray paint as well, so make sure you provide enough time before touching it and potentially ruining your awesome paint job. I really, really love how these turned out, especially the black one, that that gray looks like a cement base on my planter. 
So now I get to fill them with plants. These are fully dry and we're going to throw in some potting soil. I also have a little plastic insert for this black one with holes in it for drainage. But on the popcorn tin, I'm going to be adding holes for drainage because I want the whole thing filled with soil. So no insert here. Instead, I'm going to take my uh, black carbide drill bit and drill three holes through the metal. Please excuse my extremely dirty hands in this clip. <laughs> anyway, so now that I have drainage holes in the popcorn tin, I can pop in some snake plants, add a little bit more potting soil, and then the cover for the popcorn tin that I spray painted will become the drip tray or the, the drainage tray that catches water that flows out from the bottom of this popcorn tin planter. I think this is a great upcycle and reuse of something that would otherwise just be thrown in the recycling and I love how this turned out with the help of Rust-Oleum spray paints. I hope you were inspired by this easy DIY and thanks so much for watching Welcome to the Woods. Don't forget to subscribe to see my next video.